Hi everyone, my name is Joe Wrights and I'm a marketing specialist with Stanley Security. And today as part of the Nation Talk series, I'd like to talk to you guys a little bit about A-B testing. So I think we can all agree that A-B testing is a foundational cornerstone of any digital marketing effort. And the reason we do A-B testing is really to optimize our email engagement. We want to do anything we can to drive opens, clicks, and conversions. The other aspect of doing why we do an A-B test is simply to understand what works with your target market and your industry. as, as messages and, and technologies and things like that evolve, the landscape changes, and you want to constantly be on top of it. So in Marketo, there's three different types of A-B tests. There's the email program type, there's the champion challenger send, and then a third one that's a little more old school called random sample. So like I mentioned, the first type of test is an email program A-B test. And you typically use an email program for a one-time send or a very simple flow, like uh, promotion or a uh, new product announcement or a newsletter, something to that effect that you're only going to use one time and be done with it. And when you're setting it up, you would click down here, there'd be a new A-B test, and it brings you to a menu that looks like this, where you can select different test criteria, whether subject line, hold email from address, or the date time of the send, and then you choose email A and email B, and then set what percentage of your, your list or audience is going to receive the test, and then what percentage will receive, receive the winner. One word of caution when doing a whole email test is make small adjustments first. If you make too, too many big adjustments, it's hard to understand what the impetus for change was. What caused uh, the delta in email A working better than email B? So that's the email program type. When you're in a default program or an engagement stream, what you want to use is the champion challenger. Here. And these essentially work the same way as a standard A-B test and email program, except the one key difference is how they're distributed. Uh, where the A-B test would send a sample to the whole 20% here, and then the winner to the 80%, what the champion challenger does is this subset receives a challenger, this subset receives a champion, and then the same you have the same abilities to uh, determine what the champion criteria are, and then with, with the champion challenger, you manually have to select the winner versus automatically setting it, being able to automatically set it on an email program. Those are the two most basic email program types. And if you have any more questions, I strongly encourage you to go to docs.marketo.com. The one I want to park on a little bit is the random sample test. At Stanley, our engagement programs tend to be long streams of emails that are useful but not necessarily interrelated. But in some, in some instances, you might have a very strong call to action that you want to nurture someone towards. And the way Marketo can, can help you do that is uh, rather than dragging individual emails in and working with the built-in transition rules, you can essentially drag in a whole default program, like I've built here that has email A and email B, and then use the random sample test to send, um, it's very similar to a champion challenger. And then you can, after the cast, you can run an email performance report to see which one did better, and then tweak the smart campaign accordingly. So the next cast, just as you would with a champion challenger. The thing that's different about this is that when you do that, you still have access to the whole toolbox of Marketo uh, flow steps. So, for example, let's uh, let's take a look at the smart campaign. When I look at the smart list, it's basically anybody that is a member of this this stream, and then the flow is very simply random sample is or it's a send email flow step, and then you have to choose the choice random sample. And this is this is always a percentage, so it obviously has to add up to 100. But what this is saying is that 50% will receive email A, and 50% will receive email B. Uh, whatever, whatever you want to test in there. It could just be the subject line, it could be the whole email entirely, um, different layout, that kind of thing. But like I said, you have the whole toolbox of Marketo flow steps that you can use after this. Whether you want to uh, add an interesting moment or uh, do some custom scoring based on a, uh, a trigger, based on an action. But the cool thing is that you can also have listening campaigns that are that are going to um, transition them to a different part of that stream. So, for example, what this one is doing is to, if they click a specific link in one of those emails uh, and they're a member of the stream, what we're going to do is change their stream to the fast stream. The way I have these streams set up is that someone would flow through the intro series, and at the end of it, they would get put into the slow train. At the end of it, they'd get put into the fast train, and then they get the final call to action. If at any point they take an action that we want to specify, okay, just send them the call to action, they've qualified themselves as, as, as marketing qualified, 
we can essentially hand that lead over to sales on a, on a much more, um, much faster basis. Once again, this has been Joe Wrights with Stanley Security, and this has been Nation Talks.